Isolated for centuries by the highest peaks on Earth, Tibetans developed some very unusual concepts, like the strangest form of government ever devised, a theocracy ruled by reincarnate Dalai Lamas. Tibet's culture is closely linked with Buddhist belief. Light years ahead of the West, Tibetans nurtured the idea of sacred landscape, sacred valleys, mountains, rivers and lakes, sanctuaries of fauna and flora to be left totally untouched. Which is why today the desecration of sacred mountains by Chinese mining consortiums is such a huge insult to Tibetans, who are powerless to prevent the destruction. Chinese surveyors have identified over a hundred types of minerals in Tibet, worth 125 billion US dollars. But the real value could be ten times that amount. And what share of this tremendous wealth do Tibetans stand to get? Actually, nothing. No royalties, no jobs, no community outreach. At the end of the day, what the Tibetans get is pollution. Any protest is met with brutal force. Adding insult to injury, a handful of Canadian corporations are complicit in China's ruthless exploitation of Tibet. As a Canadian filmmaker, that's what really got me going. The gross injustice. I knew I had to find out.